The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verses 8. Hello beautiful family. A very warm welcome back to the Lovey Start Food channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I love making fried rice for my family but most times when I'm the process of making it, all those artificial liquid condiments, it does bother me a lot and i was really really doing my research to find other ways to make my fried rice without them I've honestly tried making my fried rice recipes without them but it does not look and taste the same at all i had to really really try and try and try again until i found this right here making my fried rice with a sogum leaf not the original wache was the answer fam so please stay tuned i know you're going to be interested do not go anywhere let's get started so to begin with i'm going to be needing my rice i'm using yeah. of yasmin rice and please go ahead and use all your favorite vegetables you love to see in your fried rice here are and mine of course, my secret and game changing ingredient that i will be using here is going to be my sogum leaves yes we are not going to be using it for watch it this time we're using it in our fried rice and we are going to say no to all the the artificial condiment please please keep watching because this is going to be so interesting and it might be your favorite way to make your fried rice after this okay and i'll be also using my chicken as protein a bit of shrimps i have my ginger and garlic paste and i also have some seasoning i use some chicken and fish seasoning a bit of curry powder some egg and salt and i do have my cooking olive oil now let's go ahead and steam oh. our chicken and we need the stock from this chicken to boost the flavors of our rice so it's seasoning it very very well that is the only way you're going to get that perfect stock out of it okay so in here i went in my ginger garlic and onion blend and i went in with my chicken seasoning and a teaspoon of curry powder and i also rinsed the blender that i used in blending my ginger and garlic and i went in with a pinch of salt and that is it what you do not want to do is add lots of water in here just cover it and allow it to slowly steam for about 15 to 20 minutes and it should be done the chicken also have some good quality juices that is going to be released which is very very good okay so make sure you treat this part very well on the other hand i'm going to just go ahead and put my sogum leaf in a pot and add in some hot water here i love to turn the heat to the very lowest point just so that I am able to just grab all the beautiful color from my sogum leaves. The brighter the color, the best your rice is going to ever look. So now our chicken is also done. So it's best that I take them out right now and allow it to rest before I start to fry them in my air fryer. And just look, I have the amazing color that I was looking for. So now I'm going to put the rice in the stock. This contributes a lot to the flavors of your rice. So please make sure you have some stock okay so now i'm going to add the water that i got from my sogum leaf i'm using about one cup of it stir everything well together you have to also taste for salt and season it according to your preference if you want it a bit brighter go ahead and add the leaf back to the rice is this not amazing just cover it and allow it to cook on a low to medium heat for about 20 minutes in the waiting time go ahead and get all your vegetables ready i like to cut them into smaller smaller pieces as you see me do here i begin with my onions and then follow by my bell peppers and then the carrots so so amazing go ahead and use any favorite vegetables that you prefer all right We are done cutting all our vegetables they look absolutely great now it's time for us to season our shrimp i'm going in with about one tablespoon of my onion ginger and garlic paste and i also went ahead to add one teaspoon of some garlic powder and fish seasoning all right mix everything together and set it aside now let's go and check on our rice just look at the perfect color we
you need all the artificial colorant for your rice to be this good we use the sorghum leaf to achieve this perfect perfect color and i'm just so in love the chicken stock also gave this rice so much flavor and honestly the aroma is just amazing i am going to stick to this way of making rice forever and ever fam it is amazing so i'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for another 10 minutes and once i'm done i'll then go ahead and put my chicken in the air fryer it's doing the work for so me so now that we have our rice ready it's now time to prep for our fried rice process i'm going to begin by scrambling my eggs so in my frying pot i'm going to add a little bit of cooking olive oil and then go in with my Eggs. I season it with about a teaspoon of my all purple seasoning and I'm going to scramble it. I want it to be nice and fluffy. So this is the way that I make this it. This only takes about two minutes, not more. Either than that, your eggs are going to be super dry. All right. The eggs are done. I'll just go ahead and take them out. And now go in with my shrimp. I'm going to saute these shrimps until they are beautifully pink. This is going to take about three minutes or so to get it done. It is absolutely very, very, very easy. Just like the way you'd be doing your regular fried rice, okay? If you do not care for shrimps, you may just continue to omit this and go straight to your vegetables as i am done with this i'll go straight to my vegetables and saute my onions and then go in with my bell peppers this will roughly take about two minutes as well These vegetables are looking super beautiful and so yummy. We need to season it with a bit of the uh, rest of the onion, ginger and garlic paste and go in with our all-purpose seasoning and stir everything together. And once it's done, we will then introduce our perfectly cooked yasmin rice infused with that beautiful sogum leaf, giving us that check check real Ghanaian check check vibes. It is absolutely so delicious and it smells heavenly i mean you need to try this recipe fam you need to you really need to okay so now i'm going to mix everything together and we're going to get our delicious Ghanaian fried rice aka chick chick this is the original chick chick please tell the vendors they should be doing them there's this way because we are tired of all those condiments that are so high in msg it is not good for us you already know <laughs> so now i'm introducing the rest of the proteins my shrimp and my scrambled eggs i'll stir everything together and allow it to simmer for about two minutes and your rice should be ready fam it is insanely delicious and no you don't always need your soy sauce and all the sauces okay this was just perfection and look how chicken it has been air fried very very nice so all that is left now is for us to just put it on the plate we are going all the way to the street we're just serving it the way that the street vendors will sell to us amazing i just love this recipe i have fallen in love i mean Nate, i cannot even <laughs> <laughs> i cannot even think far it was so so delicious hands down the best fried rice i have ever ever made and i want you to try it okay of course our ghana salad is representing why not <laughs> and our chicken and not forgetting some shittos a little bit of spice on the side will go a long way thank you so very much family for watching this amazing recipe and i know you're going to give it a try it is absolutely delicious just follow the step-by-step -step recipe and you are going to be blown away and if you have enjoyed this recipe please do not forget to give me a thumbs up okay please share it with your friends and family as well and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovia's touch 
my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one have a blessed day bye